Q-Switch, and MOPA. Have you heard of them? Watson Technical is here for you, and today we're going to break down the difference between the two. It's important to know, after all, one fiber laser marker can cost twice as much as another because of one of them. Faster, more precise, and more productive. This is MOPA, a new and therefore expensive technology. But its capabilities are superior to those of Q-Switch. In what way and how exactly? And is it worth it? Let's talk about color. Both technologies offer color marking on metals, but MOPA gives you more colors on more materials, silicone, ABS, PC, PLA, and other plastics. But why is this happening? To find out, we need to look inside the installed laser sources. They all contain a driver diode, which is a light bulb that emits light. This light is used to make a laser. It is placed in a closed environment, reflected and multiplied several times. And then, combined with the light from the pump diode in a special modular box, it bursts out as a laser. After that, the beams in Q-Switch and MOPA go their separate ways. The first technology has a Q-switching unit. Its purpose is to prevent the beam from traveling down the fiber at times when it is not needed. Why does this happen? With this type of beam control, we end up with a good pulsed effect. However, the Q-switch takes time to build up and release the peak power. The second technology does not have this modifying unit. However, it does have a dual circuit power generator amplifier system that allows additional beam pumping. This allows the amplification to be controlled, giving more precise power control. And it doesn't matter at which frequencies, even at one kilohertz, even at 2700 kilohertz you can switch the gain on and off at will. This allows the MOPA to reach peak power instantly. Now, let's look at the other parameters. Q-switch. Impulse is not fully controlled. Does not often deliver peak power. Does not engrave at high frequency. Takes more time. Takes time to reach peak power. Irregular impulse sequence. MOPA. Maximum control peak power at all frequencies, engraves at high frequency, high speed, reaches peak power instantly. Every impulse is fully controlled. Despite all the advantages of MOPA, 97% of lasers sold are Q-Switch. This is due to budget savings. Yes, and Q-Switch can handle the main tasks, marking labels or applying QR codes. But there are 3% of buyers who choose MOPA speed, quality, but also higher costs. But that is the price of the future. Specialists predict the spread of MOPA technology because it expands the possibilities of laser marking. Here, for example, you need to polish thin aluminum. Q-switch will deform the surface, whereas MOPA will not. Or marking plastic. With the first technology, the marking tends to yellow, whereas with the second, it does not. And these are just a few examples of the new fields opened up by MOPA. So, what do you think of Q-Switch and MOPA? Now that we've sorted out their differences, let us know what you think in the comments. This is Watson Technical, and there's a lot more on our channel coming soon. Give us a like and subscribe so you don't miss out. See you soon!